as many as one in five cars has so little oil in it, it's about to go, well, do you know what? As much as it pains me, I'm going to demonstrate. I've drained the oil from this car, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens when it all goes wrong. Oil is the lifeblood of the engine. The problem is, while the fuel gauge gives plenty of notice about when to fill up, with oil, you just get a warning light. And by the time it's on, it's usually too late. This is like torture. This poor car does not deserve this kind of treatment. Now, oil has three main purposes. The first one is lubrication. If you imagine bits of metal rubbing together, they need some sort of lubrication. And if it doesn't exist, then they tear each other to pieces. The second function of oil is to clean. Basically, if you imagine it as a substance which can dissolve all the rubbish inside the engine and take it away from the moving parts. Finally, uh, oil keeps an engine cool by transferring the heat around the engine. And um, that's not happening right about now, because there's no oil in this engine. So it's not steaming yet, but certain parts of the engine will be getting exceedingly hot. So now it's just a question of when the engine's going to conk out. My nerves are already shot to pieces. You should be able to be arrested for doing something like this. This is cruelty to cars. The RAC is called out 9,000 times a year because of lack of oil. And my man Richard gave me a heads up on what was about to happen inside the Proton's engine. Pistons are moving up and down very, very quickly, many times a second. And without that film of oil between the pistons and the, uh, the bore, they'll start to rattle like that. Oh, it's saying change gear, give me some oil. No, I'm not changing gear, I'm not giving you any oil. The clearance between the crank and the bearing becomes greater. We have masses of noise developing in this area. Oh, can you hear that? That is the destruction of a beautiful piece. Oh! It's a heavy, heavy rattling from the crankshaft. Oh, my God, listen to that. It sounds like a tractor. I don't know if you can hear me over all this noise. And once you've heard that noise, that heavy knocking noise, it's a no-goer. And the revs have gone up to 8,000 now. The, the rev has gone mental. The car is stuttering. It's about to seize now. I'm going to put my hazards on here. It's all over. It's stuttering. It's stumbling. It, it can't do it. It's, can't, it's, pack, it's packed up. There it is. It's packed up. It's packed up. It's just seized. It's all over for the Proton. This engine is going to be absolutely red hot. This engine has welded itself together. The RAC reckons 25 cars are ruined like that every day in the UK. So armed with some tubs of Kuwait's finest, I'm going to find out how many people in this car park are risking similar catastrophic damage to their vehicle. Don't be scared. Uh, I'm, my name's Captain Oil. Well, when was the last time you checked the oil in your car? Never. Never done it. Do you not check it yourselves at all? Nope. Do you want to check it? Nope. You've never checked it? No. Where's the dipstick? Warm, getting warmer. <laughs> Keep looking. Come on, hunt around the engine bay. What are you doing there? Yeah. 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 I got here just in the nick of time. Eight out of ten cars I checked needed a top up. Oh my god. Max there, minimum there. It's not even on the stick. Well, you've got a dipstick. Should we use this yeah, one? No, no, you can't use that one. Hello, none, very low. Very low. It's, it's just off the stick. Christopher. Not only would their cars have been knackered, but they'd have been stranded. So when are you supposed to check it? Every two months. Yeah. Every months. Yeah, absolutely. And consider this. The average cost of a bottle of oil is eight quid, versus the average cost of an engine rebuild, which is 1,500 quid. Right, now it's best to check your engine oil when the uh, engine's warm. And you also want to make sure the car's on a level as well, so it gives you an accurate reading. Clean it off with a rag. Push it right down to the bottom, wait for a second, and that is your oil reading. Now, that's fine in this particular case, but should it be low, on the top up here, give the oil a couple of moments to reach the engine, and uh, it's all pretty good. Now, don't think for a minute this is something that just affects older cars. Newer cars are just as likely to drink oil. In fact, there is no warranty in the land that will cover damage done to your engine if the oil level drops below minimum. So think about it. Checking your oil takes a couple of minutes, costs a couple of quid, and it'll save you thousands. But sitting back here, you get half an idea of where your cash goes. We've got heated, cooled, fully adjustable.